Hi guys, Kotutar here and my name is Anil Deshpande. If you have directly dropped into this particular video, I would request you to go back to the previous video where I have given a basic introduction of the permissions and then come back here. Assuming that you already know the context, let's proceed further. Post Lollipop, there have been a changes in the permissions. Android categorizes the permissions into two types. One is normal permission and the other one is dangerous permission. What are normal permissions? They are just the same kind of permissions that you would usually declare in the manifest file. Only the difference is Android grants these permissions by default. You don't have to ask runtime permissions. Dangerous permissions are those which are also declared in the manifest file but they once again have to be confirmed by the application during the runtime. So Androids don't grant these permissions by default and at the runtime the application needs to ask these permissions from the user. In both of the cases, the permissions have to be declared in the manifest file. Some of the examples for the normal permissions are fingerprint permission, if you want to use internet, you want to use NFC and Bluetooth. So these are the kind of permissions which don't require any kind of runtime request of the permission. Under the dangerous permission, some of the examples are contacts, location, microphone and SMS. There are of course many more than this. You can just go to the Android document and find out which are the normal permissions and which are the uh, dangerous permissions. Having understood this, how do you ask permissions in Android? Android sets certain ground rules and it is better to be aware and follow these ground rules whenever you are asking for the permission. User should have the context when you ask for the permission. Whenever you launch the application, you suddenly don't ask for the permission. That is, if the user doesn't have the context why the application is asking for the permission, he clearly will usually always deny rather than allow for the permission. It is always better to ask for the permission when user performs some kind of a action. Say for example, when the user clicks on the load data, that is when you ask for the permission rather than just popping up the window to ask for the permission as soon as user opens the app. You can observe that the pop-up window doesn't tell why you would need this particular permission. It just asks you to grant the permission. So sometimes it is better to show the user some kind of a reasoning why you would need this particular permission. Otherwise, it's even perfectly fine to directly show this particular pop-up window. The user can either click on allow or deny. And if a user clicks on the deny part, then it will close this particular window and no further function will be executed. And if I click once again on the load data, it will show a rational aid saying that you need a particular kind of permission. And if I now click on this enable, it will once again pop up the permission window. But the slight difference is you will observe that there is something called as never ask again. The user can click on the never ask again and then deny. If he does that, this pop-up window will never occur again. Having understood how the permissions are asked in Android, so now let us get into a quick demo and see how the actual code is implemented. I am reusing the code from the content provider demo and if you observe the manifest file, I already have the requisite permissions entered in the manifest file. Now going back to the activity, method that gets executed when you click on load data is this particular method called as load contacts. Now we will go ahead and implement the proper way of doing it through the runtime permissions. First, you should always start with by checking whether you have the permission. For that, you have a class called as activity compat. It has got a static method called as check self permission. It takes two parameters. The first one is the context and the second one is the kind of permission that you are checking. So the first parameter is this and the second is manifest dot permission dot read context. So this is the permission and you want to compare it against permission granted. If you have the permission, then you can just simply go ahead and do whatever that you want to do. If the user doesn't have the permission, it could be two reasons. One is this is the first time of the application run and you need to pop up the window asking for the permission or it could be second or third time in which case you don't directly pop up the window but actually show a rational a saying that you need to have the permission and then pop up the window. So once again I have to check whether I have to show the rational a or not. For that another 
method activity compact should show request permission rationally it basically returns me true or false whether the application is asking for the permission first time or whether it is its second time or the third time and it basically takes context and the permission and permission here is once again manifest dot permission dot read context and if it returns true then you have to show the rationale else you can directly ask for the permission and to ask for the permission you can use activity.compact request permission it basically takes context as the first parameter second is the array of string permissions so if you want to ask multiple permissions in the single go you can pass the array right now i am only asking for the read contact and the third parameter is int request code this is a user defined constant integer which is is used to identify which particular permission the app is dealing with i have defined a constant here my permission request read context i will use this i will pass it as the third parameter so when basically the request is granted or denied i will be able to make a decision whether it is pertaining to this particular user defined request code if you need to show the rational a then that can be done using the snack bar snack bar is a new widget that has been introduced in the marshmallow which usually pops up from the bottom of the screen showing some kind of a text the first parameter is view uh, which i can find out using find view by id android dot r dot id dot content and the second parameter is the text that you want to show then the third parameter is how long you want to show this particular snack bar i can use snack bar dot indefinite which basically means that i want to show this particular snack bar as long as user performs some kind of a action on this so i will set the action and then for the action i will have a text called enable and then i need to do a click action on this enable to capture this i have to have a, an on click listener and then i have to show this inside the on click if the person clicks on the enable i need to once again request for the permission inside the on click you cannot use this so let me make use of main activity dot this so we are almost done with the code just so that we understand the flow of the code properly let me add some log statements here so let me run this click on the load data so you can observe that the first statement was permission was not granted it will always go for the permission being requested for the first time kind of scenario and it will directly ask for the permission if the user denies it will just close but if i once again click it will check whether the permission is not granted if it is not granted then it will instead of going for once again first time scenario it will go to the showing for the rationale and that is why you are seeing this particular snack bar and if i now click on the enable it will show the pop-up window asking you to grant the permission if you click on the allow part it will grant the permission and now if you click on the load data you will observe that the permission is granted and that is why you are able to load the data in the text view now let me try to add a contact to this content provider say test sample 3 and i will click on the add contact this basically requires a write permission which is declared in the manifest file and if you go to the insert method here you you can observe that i am not checking for the permission here i am directly doing the insertions into the context now let me do a add contact it automatically added the contact to the content provider it did not fail even though i have not asked for the runtime permission of the right context which is a dangerous permission this is actually contrary to our understanding we will discuss this and few more things in the next video so stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye